Harry T. Moore lived to make the lives of African Americans better. His life's work ultimately led to his death. When most people think of civil rights martyrs, the names Martin Luther King Jr. and Medgar Evers come to mind. Many believe the name of Moore, who along with his wife Harriet was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan in 1951, is one that should be spoken right alongside King and Evers. Harry T. and Harry V. Moore was the first martyrs of the civil rights movement. I know many people never heard of him, but they fought for three things. Harry T. Moore and Harriet Moore fought for equal pay for black teachers. Harry T. Moore investigated the lynchings and every lynching that took place in the state of Florida, and he taught his students how to cast ballots. In 1934, Harry organized the first Bavard County branch of the NAACP. He went on to organize some 50 more branches of the NAACP throughout the state of Florida. In 1944, 45, he organized the Florida State Conference of NAACP branches, which is a statewide organization that still exists today. Harry T. Moore got over 116,000 blacks to vote. Remember, voting is a big thing. And for Harry T. Moore to do that, he traveled the back roads in Florida with threats against his life. Unfortunately for Moore, threats became reality on Christmas night, 1951. Looking into the Groveland Four case ultimately led to his death because he crossed path with Sheriff Willis McCall. They said it was him who sent the Klansmen over on Christmas night, December 25th, 1951, and they were hiding in the groves approximately 10.20 p.m. that night. Boom! They said that was the loudest bomb heard around the world. Harry died on the way to the hospital. His wife, Harriet, lived for another nine days and died one day after his funeral. It took more than 50 years after their deaths, but in 2006, then Attorney General Charlie Crisp published the names of four men believed to be directly responsible for the bombing. In the years since, the Moors have had display items added to the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. It helps further cement their legacy in history. Oh, the legacy that the Moors left the world is a gift, a present. We didn't understand it then, but we know it now. You find very little in history books uh, relating to civil rights about Harriet Harriet Moore, and it's our mission to change that.